Welcome to Virtual You, the radio program of self-exploration where the focus is on our capacity to live consciously and fully, integrating the wisdom of spirit with practical affairs of science, business, and culture. Virtual You, presented by Wisdom Radio. And now your host, Jeffrey Mishlov. Welcome to my second hour with Jacote Cholet. We're exploring music and healing. Jacote is a French television producer and filmmaker who's produced over 50 films about international culture, spirituality, and mysticism, and in recent years has become a musician, a composer of electronic music designed to attune the body to the many dimensions of infinity to rejuvenate and to heal. In our first segment, Jacot, we listened to two different pieces, and in reflecting on them both, they had different qualities about them. The, the first one was just very, very heavenly, and the piece that we listened to just before our break at the end of the hour, I would describe it as more... Um, contemplative, perhaps. Uh, not so much the soaring ecstasy, but more a sense of focus. Mm -hmm. Sense of, of the self. Yes. Uh, I have the layers of yeah, the self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have had people saying that the, the, it was like bringing the self into, into connection, you know, bringing, bringing you back into connection with the self. You know? yeah. It's like a reminder. Mm -hmm. Remind, you know, remember what reality, ultimate reality is, mm -hmm. just being. So, of course, each time I had these experiences with the, my synthesizer and this traveling, you know, into many dimensions, mm. uh, I never know at the first where I'm going to go. Yeah. Uh, it's each time, it's like it was the first time. Mm -hmm. And and that's how I discovered the laws of creation. That each time, in order to get in touch with with heaven, you know, with the paradise lost that mm. we all people on earth have been looking for, you know. Paradise lost has been a theme for a lot of yes. poets and and it's what we are looking for since we are also infants in the in our mother womb mm -hmm. you know it's like being in paradise and then all our life we look for mm -hmm. so each time i it's it's a genuinely new experience for mm -hmm. me and if i if it's not if i if the previous one for instance has been so exquisite that it i have kept kept a memory of it mm -hmm. and I want to reproduce it mm -hmm. it doesn't work <laughs> there's no reproducing there's no reproducing mm -hmm. it, each time it, in creation you have to be like a, a child naked child mm -hmm. not knowing where you're going you, you, but but uh, just allowing uh, you know being so faithful to to what's coming mm -hmm. Uh, that it will it will eventually <laughs> work <laughs> once more you know so this journey for me was really a, a, a journey of great th faith mm -hmm. because and and because it's in this uh, only in this uh, way that you can it's like uh, touching the you know the the magical stone you cannot there is no way. It's not written. The itinerary is not already written. Mm -hmm. You have to, to, you have to step over the, the, the empty. To be on that constant edge yeah. of each moment, yeah. wondering what will happen next. Yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. and wondering and not wondering. Mm -hmm. That's that that's the that's the just flowing with yeah, it. Yeah, flowing because mm -hmm. if you know. It's everything, you, you can imagine, Jeffrey, everything is going so quickly with the music, mm -hmm. you know, that, and it's a flow, it's a constant flow. And many layers at the same Man, time. Many layers. So, if you wonder for one second, I mean, in the music, then you will hear there is a, a, a hole, ah. you know, a drop. So, this is the, the secret of this music, that it's, it's, a, it's kind of thread mm -hmm. or net, 
a net of consciousness, mm. of conscious being at this level, mm -hmm. you know, with the body aligned with mm -hmm. the soul, mm -hmm. and and uh, and the spirit, uh, you know, uh, bringing mm -hmm. the sheep onto the sea. So, you were originally composing this music, and as I recall, an apartment in Paris. Yeah, I was first in in my apartment, and it was very funny to see the reaction of the my pets, you know, my animals, my cats in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, because animals are very sensitive to music. All the kingdom, all, all, if, now I know that even the, the vegetables, everybody, I mean, every, I say everybody, but every living, you know, creature on mm -hmm. earth uh, is, is permeate, permeated mm -hmm. to, with, to music, you know. It's permeated with per music. Permeated with music. You know. So if, if I was not in the right, in this right state that I've been trying to, to just a little bit, uh, explain with words but it's difficult with words you know, yes. to explain. Um, and if I not if I was not uh, righteous you know mm -hmm. with that and if I was cheating uh -huh. my cats would tell me oh. because they would throw away because the, the sounds w would not be pure mm. you know mm -hmm. they would be forced so you you found ways to develop a standard for yourself yeah Th this is this is right mm -hmm. and and it is what it's what like you know, uh, I had been dreaming for a long time of creating a kind of uh, exercise. Mm -hmm. But I, exercise still has some connotation of work. So it's not more a kind of, I don't know, ideal play, <laughs> ideal playground, you mm. know, where um, I can be in a deep state of meditation, uh -huh. but I can sustain that state for a long, long time, because the music is dragging me towards itself. You know? ah. So I have uh, an interest of going. And it's like, I think, in the end, I th think it's like a gymnastics. It's like preparing for, you know, or for the Olympics or something. You have to forge your body, your mm -hmm. muscle. You have to have... So do in by doing this, it was like a musculature of the, of the being, mm. you know. Of of some something that we don't know really what it is, you know, mm -hmm. to be able to be in good trim, you know, to be able to have all my dimensions aligned, mm -hmm. and then in this state I can win the game. But I'm the only player, and, I, and there's no there's no reward. <laughs> I mean, the reward is just being, you know, being there. Um, but that's what I thought in the beginning. But mm -hmm. the reward is much bigger than that. That's what I learned in the time. It's that each time I was in this state, mm -hmm. sometimes some of the tracks are 19 minutes. So mm -hmm. I was, you know, it's just sustaining in this ah. state of open, totally open, mm -hmm. totally coherent. Mm -hmm. Now I call it coherence because there's no, nothing bothering. You know, there mm -hmm. is no, uh, with attention, united attention, mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. uh, and, and in deep listening, um, what experience has shown is that it heals because when you are one you know in one piece all the the, the portions of energy that or uh, emotions that you had you know that was a kind of a scar they they are mm -hmm. put back they are back in the in the in the flow you see? So you could enter into what I would call a coherent state of healing consciousness yeah. and then create the music and capture that music yeah, so yeah. that people who listen to the music are able to, to some degree, to reproduce the state you were in yeah. during the creation yeah. of it. Yeah, they are, they are able, they are called back by their own soul mm. or their own consciousness mm -hmm. uh, to... To, to do the same trip. Wonderful. Yeah. And uh, Jacot, we're coming up on a break now. Wisdom Radio has some messages for our listeners. And when we return, we'll discuss more of the research that's been done on your music and we'll play some more of it once again for our listeners. Welcome back to Virtual You. 
I'm your host, Jeffrey Mishlove. My guest is Jacote Cholet, and we're exploring the healing power of music, and in particular, her own experience as a composer of electronic music that seems to convey the state of consciousness that she enters into during the act of creation. Now, there have been some very specific scientific studies done with your work. As I recall, one of them looked at the uh, composition of the blood cells. Yeah, uh, it was very interesting to see, and it once once again it came like a synchronistic event that the biologist came to me and was very interested in uh, in looking at the effect on the music and the blood. So we did a lot of testing with with the volunteers, people volunteering from the workshops, mm. and we we're very surprised to see how many people were volunteer. So I think that uh, when people are put in 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 touch with their you know. Um, a, a truer part of themselves. They all want to to volunteer in, in... People instinctively, I'm sure, feel that something very subtle but very significant has taken is, place, yeah, a shift yeah. of consciousness. Yeah, yeah, it is. and, and Or in, in energy at the same time. Mm-hmm. Because, so what was shown, in fact, was uh, rather extraordinary in, in such a short time that after one hour of deep listening, and I just insist on the way how to listen. Maybe we'll take, talk later about that, yes. because it's very important. After one hour of deep listening and resonating to the frequencies and to the vibration of this music, um, there was an increase of the number of red cells in the blood that was spectacular. It was one gram, uh, um, which is it's impossible, I mean, to, to, to get that. You know, it's it's a, it's a huge jump in the energy. So the number of red cells are, is increasing, mm. uh, and at the same time, the so one gram of hemoglobin plus one gram. When we when we when we are very tired, just for people to understand, when we are very tired, we are deficient in red cells, and it shows in our blood that we have a very uh, low level of red cells. Ah. So uh, it means that it's restoring. You know. Uh, uh, and in bringing up the level of energy of the people and of the red cells sp- in a spectacular way after mm. only one hour. Mm. But of course, it's because in this state you know, of being, there is no separation. There is no fragmentation. There is, no, uh, there is a, a fullness of being that brings all the components together. And that shows in the blood. Mm. At the same time, we, we were looking at the, red, at the white cells. And the white cells that have nuclei, they mm-hmm. have, uh, you know, um, nucleus, and the, in this n- nucleus is in touch with the DNA. That's mm-hmm. where the DNA get, gives the information mm-hmm. to, to the blood. Mm-hmm. And so, what we was shown there that there was um, the 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 shape. Of the, there was another experiment showing that after three days, you leave if you leave blood, you know, in the fridge. Mm-hmm. For three days, it it uh, the entropy action of of life. I mean, uh, decays the mm-hmm. blood. Mm-hmm. So it's like everything. If you live in your fridge, or if you leave, uh, you know, an apple, and then it decays. Yeah, that's what we call the uh, law of entropy. Yes, things return to a kind of a s- state of least uh, L- least least uh, sep- order. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's, right. a, it's order. It disorder. That's right. Yeah. That's what getting old means, mm-hmm. getting more disorder in, in the cell process, you mm-hmm. know. Um, so it was shown that after this w- one hour of listening, we took the blood of the person before and after to mm-hmm. show the difference. And um, after one hour, there was, n- there was six- 76% of, of the nucleus kept intact. Mm. Whereas with without listening in mm-hmm. in the normal way of life, it was mm-hmm. all totally destroyed. You know, the shape was destroyed. One hour before. you're talking about in the refrigerator now. Yeah. After the blood had been taken and tested, it continued to maintain its coherence, yeah. its orderliness, yeah, its yeah. vitality. Yeah. After three days. So, so you know? after three days. So, in other in other words, your music is having an effect not only at the level of the total organism and the consciousness, but at the cellular level. At the cellular level, and this is very interesting because it then it opened me to uh, a new research about that. You mm-hmm. know?
scientifically is that after these people have had super oxygenation in their blood and mm -hmm. more more red cells and and more coherence in in the white cells you know mm -hmm. so like they 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 wait, are wait wait repeat that more what in the white cells coherence 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 you know in the white cells yeah so it's like the they are repairing you know mm. the, their 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 the immune system mm -hmm. is in, enhanced. The immune system. Uh, these people, while well, they are doing that, it's it's occurring. You mm -hmm. know, at the cellular level, at the nano. Now we are talking about nanotechnology. You know, it's uh -huh. infinite small, <laughs> but it's 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 even beyond. I think because even talking about nano is still is still. Um, um, how can you say? Is still part of you know. It's still it. It can be uh -huh. small and smaller. Yeah. But in this level, there's no small or big. Uh -huh. It's it's one. It's mm. The flow, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, what has been shown is that if the people after that they go back to their old way of thinking, mm -hmm. old way of fragmenting, their old way of being in touch with separation, mm -hmm. they lose the. The qualities. Mm -hmm. the, so it's what I propose in this series of CDs. It's a cure. It's for people to 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 start um, to start doing this healing for mm -hmm. themselves. But that each time they allow this being, uh, being one, being mm -hmm. in this consciousness, mm -hmm. being in this light, mm -hmm. they heal themselves. But it, it will take time. Yes, you know their own timing. Uh, which will be different for each one of them, mm -hmm. and so they have to uh, to go on at their own pace mm -hmm. and have sessions for with themselves. You know, mm -hmm. it's like having a weekend with yourself, uh -huh. <laughs> which sometimes ha happens very seldom now. Yeah, yeah, I could use one <laughs> now that you <laughs> mentioned it. So there have also been brainwave yeah. uh, studies of yeah. this work. Yeah, they they are being. Um, under, undergoing now, mm -hmm. but what we have seen already was that, uh, for instance, with my own daughter, mm -hmm. uh, who was kind of brought up with this music, mm -hmm. you know, when she was would come out of school and she was, you know, like little children and like, screaming, they are totally, you know, nervous after one day of school. I w she would come to my studio mm -hmm. and I would put the the headphones with on her, you know, and she would and she would start to relax and she would mm -hmm. start to be to be healed you know mm. from from the day and what was shown is that uh, she had the awakened mind what is called the awakened mind with all the brain waves are, are harmoniously opened mm -hmm. and that although she had not been meditating you know she had the the same pattern as an old meditator or a wise man that been meditating all her life well, isn't life, that you know? something yeah, so it's a tool for people, you know, mm -hmm. also. And what I insist on in, is that it's a, it is enjoyable. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's, a, it's not a burden, it's not a work, you know, it's not, being, it's not something difficult. Uh, maybe what will be most difficult is for the people will be not to do something, you know, yeah. to, just to reverse yeah, so the we're attitude. We're often in the habit of just putting the music on in the background so yeah. that we can get something done while we're yeah, listening. Yeah, but while we are supposedly not doing anything mm -hmm. that's when it happens uh -huh. you know and and so it's also opening to a feminine way uh, uh letting things happen you mm -hmm. know letting opening to the feminine which yeah. is where in the, we are up to this now in the world in the development the awakening of the, of the goddess yeah uh -huh. so this is a typical uh, perfect um perfect tool for that. A vehicle for the goddess to enter into our lives. We'll return with Jacot Cholet after these messages from Wisdom Radio. Welcome to the final segment of my two-hour conversation on music and healing with composer Jacote Cholet, who has created a seven-CD set called Listening to the Self. Yeah. And a lot of uh, the power of music, the ability of music to transform and to heal, has to do with how we listen. Yeah. That was a great, um, great lesson that I learned, 
um, that most people, and and myself included, in the beginning, don't don't listen. They constantly talk to themselves. So it's like they occupy the you know the territory. So um, so we have to quiet quiet down and. And listening, what does it mean? What I, I now I'm I can teach it to people, and I, mm-hmm. I I have taught it to myself. You know, is that it means to be open in an open state of mind, not not trying to find re- repairs. How do you call? It? You know, uh, uh, not find not trying to find something we know solution. Yeah. Uh-huh. No, no. At the first, when you okay, something is coming that we know. Okay, we cling on that. Ah. No, no. Let it keep open. Mm-hmm. Not trying to to find what we already know, mm-hmm. but open to what we don't know. Uh-huh. Opening to the unknown. Yes. And in a total uh, confident way, mm-hmm. because the unknown is in ourselves, and we we didn't kill ourselves up to now. So mm-hmm. I don't know why it should start now. You know, mm-hmm. so because many people are are afraid of because they think that inside behind there's something bad or ugly or I don't mm-hmm. know. But uh, I never found it. I mean, you know, <laughs> so I don't think it's it's true. It's just uh, the mind that is afraid of the of the unknown puts b- bad things. You know, mm-hmm. puts the shadow. It's, mm-hmm. But it's not real. It's not real. It's just, it's just a fear of the unknown. Mm-hmm. So in this therapy, it's opening to the unknown in each of us mm-hmm. through resonating and listening to these sounds, mm-hmm. to this music, and in this way, no thought, absolutely no thought, just keeping quiet and trusting that what we resonate with will 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 heal us. So that. Why I asked people also in the beginning to put their intention. They have to believe in the process. They have to be. They have to believe in themselves. They have to be tr- trusting them, their own self, mm. because I'm not going to heal them. Mm-hmm. They are going to heal them yeah. through the this music which healed me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but as I told in the beginning, this me is not only me. It's the self. Mm. You know. So. By resonant, being reson- res- resonating to the frequencies of this music, they will be the people will be back in touch with their, with their own self, mm-hmm. and in this at this level where, like our higher self, has never had never been injured and never had any sickness and never had anything. The yeah. higher self that exists outside of time and space. Yeah, totally. So this is a tune to. To tune in yeah. this level, you know, mm-hmm. and and it will come f- for the people. The healing will come from many different ways. With the same music, I had people listening to the same piece, uh, again piece, you know, to the same musical mm-hmm. space, yes. the same musical space at the same time. Mm-hmm. Some people were in in heaven. Some people were feeling some pain mm-hmm. in their body. People yes. can feel pain because the pain is there, and the music is is a holistic. Uh, thread of life that mm-hmm. that is um, that is bringing back the coherence inside them. Mm-hmm. But in order to bring back the coherence, it has to to uh, to go through the incoherence, mm-hmm. you know. And so it may be painful. It may be if they have had some problems, you know, and uh, kept uh, under the level of consciousness, mm-hmm. you know, in the unconscious, they may feel something. Yeah. So the feeling means that you are alive, that you are bringing this energy back. You mm-hmm. are welcoming back this energy that you have been putting away from yourself. Mm-hmm. So you are you are gaining, regaining your wholeness. Mm. And I have been working lately with people in France that had um, multiple cancer problems, you know. Yeah. And through the listening, very deep listening of this music and sessions with me where I was just, you know, listening to them mm. for themselves to to open you know to, mm-hmm. to the truth inside these people have been recovering totally and they have been understanding why they had each episode of cancer came mm. from which emotions that they had um, they had hid you know inside themselves and they had put away yes. and I came to a kind of uh, thinking that cancer was uh, um, a problem of fragmentation. Mm. It's like you, when you're fragmented and fragmented and fragmented, all the pieces of yourself that you've left, you know, on the road, you have left them, uh, 
it's like they have their own energy. Mm -hmm. And then they, 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 this energy, but this energy, like in the cancer cell, it does not obey the law of life, you know? Well, let's close our program now with some more of this wonderful music.